Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator. Now then, we had this one turn up last week and we weren't really sure why it turned up, it just kind of magically did. I uh, had a few suggestions as to why it turned up, um, you know, a uh, game, won it in a game of cards, a really happy customer decided to give us an old one that they had kicking around. Uh, our grandmother left it to us, um, even we went out and had a few drinks with the lads and then got so hopelessly drunk that we didn't realise what we were doing and when we woke up in the morning found out that we'd actually gone to a car auction and bought a new car. Um, so many different options but basically we've got this free vehicle and everybody seems happy with it so we'll keep the free vehicle, we won't try to penalise ourselves with it in any way. Um, now what I have found out is that you get this, this restoration bonus you only get that when you get everything up to 100%. Now, we may not be able to get a full 100% on, I think it's global body condition, because we can't currently do body work in our garage. And if you look at this one here at the moment, car status, the parts condition is poor. Frame condition is 97%. I don't think we can actually improve that. And 73% on interior. Um, but I thought we'd replaced everything in the interior. Didn't we? Didn't we put the seats and everything back? Oh, yes, of course, because uh, I've said, yeah, we're currently on, we, we're doing everything on 75%. Now, I don't read, this car doesn't seem like a classic. Um, it seems like it's sort of a cheap runaround that we're just doing a bit of restoration work on. So that's what we'll continue with this one. We'll get this one back to roughly um, workable condition, and then we'll sort of move from there. Um, so 75% minimum condition with this one. Um, but if we go and take a look at the click to use there we go um this one here now we get to do this one here it expands your garage adds a paint shop dyno and another lift um successful repair is 95 percent you can repair body parts that's the one there i think is um is it that one or is it is there another one i think maybe there was another one as well that was pretty good 50 percent off trips to junkyards and barns that's actually pretty good 50 percent off parking levels um, yeah, I, I got, there was something here that kind of helped us do that, but anyway, we can't do it at the moment, so it doesn't really matter. Um, can't repair, like, door panels and stuff like that, so I think that actually is just, we would end up having to buy new ones rather than anything else. Anyway, today, what I was originally thinking was that we would do, like, a job that would come in through the telephone over there, and then we spend the rest of the episode working on the car, but right now I'm going to just work on this car for today. Um, and then hopefully get to the point where we can start working on the Jeep. And we're going to go for 100% on the Jeep to get that um, restoration bonus, if at all possible. So let me go on suspension, and then go to the part mount mode. Now, the idea is, for this, we want to put everything on above 75%. Um, I don't know if at the end, I can't remember now, uh, rear shock absorbers. I, do, I think that I actually replaced everything that I needed to replace. Um so that I could start putting it all together this episode. That was kind of the idea. And so we can start putting all of this back together. So then really the only thing that we've got left to work on is going to be the engine itself. And if we can work on the engine itself, we'll do the same with that one. We'll put that one to 75%. Um, we won't go any higher than 75% because, you know, that's, that's kind of what we've been doing. We do have a load of parts to 70 uh, to 100% because, you know, we have bought some new stuff. But overall, I don't think we need to worry about it too much. Um, and we want to put the brake disc on here. And I'm not going to worry about that for a minute. I'm going to finish putting on the rest of this stuff up on the top. So we want some rubber bushes on there. Yep. Put those in. And get that one in there. So, yeah, I th then we're going to basically, we're going to have a vehicle here that will be a full 100%. And that is going to be excellent. That is just what we want. If we've got every, well, no. Um, it'll be above 75%. So as long as it's above 75, then the Jeep over there, that one we are going for the full 100. And I'm thinking that we're going to do exactly the same as we've done with this one to start with at least. We're going to do a full strip down. We're going to rip down everything off of this vehicle, off of that vehicle over there. We'll put it onto this bay. We'll strip it all down this episode. And then I'd like you to tell me in the comment section if you would like me to just concentrate on repairing the vehicle that we're doing at the time or if you think you'd prefer me to... Um, What's going on here? Oh, I see. It's the wheel hubcap. Yeah, would you like me to just repair the vehicle that we're working on and kind of do that as our um, 
uh, play through for a little while, or do you want me to go through this idea that I suggested of doing a episode? At the beginning of the episode, we do a job from the phone, and then after we've done the job from the phone, then we come through and we do... Um, you know, if I can sort of come around, I can see this. Yeah, after we've done the job from the phone, the telephone order, or even the, like, we could do the story order. We could make that as our sort of thing to do. Um, once we've done the story order, then we come back in and we do some more work on the car. Um, which do you think you'd find more interesting? Is, is Have you got any particular preferences? Um, at the moment, I'm thinking, well, certainly for the, we'll finish doing this vehicle. And then, I really don't know. I think, we, you know, we really we could do either. I think that um, both could present some interesting entertainment. And, you know, I don't, I don't think that we kind of need to... Um, definitely say no story mode or definitely um one or the other you know a bit of variation um but I'm, I'm really not sure i think that either way could be very entertaining because we've got hang on, just bringing that one around there i think that's every oh no we've got there's still a spring to do over this side um where is it oh and i've got a uh piece in there as well the rear end rear end uh oh the sway bar rear end link that's the one i'm looking for um put that one in there yeah i think that it could be quite interesting to do whichever option that we sort of go for um i don't think that we need to sort of say that it, uh, we definitely don't want to do one or definitely won't ever do well i say won't ever do one or won't ever do the other um i think it could be quite entertaining whichever one we decide to go for in the end um oh it's that there i'm looking for rear suspension and that one goes down on there we put this one in and then I should be able to... There we go. We can spring cap on top of that one. And we can put the spring on there. Um, so yeah, maybe we could do three or four weeks of just fitting up cars. And then we could go back to doing some more story modes. Um, that could be quite good. And the story... I mean, the story modes are quite interesting. Because you do have to, like, figure out the bits and so on. But you, we get to... We kind of get to do that with this. But, I mean, then... If you're doing everything to 100%, it's literally just a complete strip down. You you are stripping the entire vehicle, whereas with a story mode, you're not doing that at all, are you? Uh, we do need to do the wheels. That's one thing that we do need to um, fit up is the wheels. Um, so we'll get on to that. I think we've done everything else on the back. So let me just come out of that mode a minute and come up to the front. I think really I want to put the engine in first. Don't oh, no, I think I can put in the suspension, can't I? Yeah. Oh, hang on. No, we've got the, the brake servo up here. This one needs to come out. Um, no, I don't want to go part mount. I want to remove that. That's got to be from the engine bay. So I actually need to lower that one down. We've got a couple of bits that we still need to hoik out and replace. I can't believe we forgot those. There's just a couple of them. There's only these two. We've got the ABS module here. That one will have to come out. Take that out and... There we go, and then the ABS pump, that one's out, and then the brake servo, and that really is everything then. That's the whole lot. Car done and dusted. Right. Uh, I can do those later, so let's lift this one back up again, and we'll work in underneath. We'll do all of the suspension and stuff like that first. So if I click on the suspension, and then I go to part mount mode, so I want the front suspension cross member... That is at 100%. And then we've got rubber bushings inside that one that we do actually have to do ourselves. We have to put each one in manually on each corner. Um, come over to this one over here, if I can reach it. There we go. That one in there. And I'm quite looking forward. If we, As soon as I've done this bit, I am actually quite looking forward to getting started on the engine and seeing what it's like to work on over there on the engine mount that we've got. I think that is going to be quite interesting. It should be a lot easier than having to do it on here. We had a lot of trouble getting it done up on this pit last time round. So let me go and we'll install a front steering knuckle right there. And then I want the front sway bar. That one can go in. Um, a shock absorber. Oh, i got to strip that one apart and do that one. Um, knuckle cover. And then we can do the front wheel hub. Do that one up. Right, and see, I can put the brake disc on, and I can do the wheel bearing there. So it's only the bit at the top that I've got to do. So we want that one, and then we want a couple of rubber bushes in there. That can go in nice and quick. There we go. Um, 
That's most of it. We've, I mean, you've got the shock absorber up there. I actually want to, I want to come over here and I want to do the steering rack. That one can go in like that. And the front, actually, no, the front exhaust section, I don't want to do that one yet because I want to put the engine in first, don't I? Um, or can I do this? Can I do it like this? We'll see. We'll see if it actually allows us to do that later on. So we want the tie rod there, the inner tie rod. I got another one over this side. Inner tie rod there. And then we got the outer tie rod that connects that to steering knuckle. I'm actually learning stuff about cars on this. You realize this, don't you, ladies and gentlemen? If, if the one reason for watching this has been my hopeless bumbling around where I don't actually know how to do anything, I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid it's going to start to become dull because I'm starting to pick this up. Like the outer tie rod. I now know that the outer tie rod connects the, uh, what is it, the, the front steering the front steering knuckle to the steering rod. I now know that. Um, as long as I've got it right in front of me and I can actually read it. Something along those lines. Um, but I still think we're doing uh, it. it, yeah, it, let's, let's not crow too quickly because I'm going to end up having, uh, something go horribly wrong on this. Yeah, I can just feel it. I know that something is going to be presenting itself to make life extremely difficult for me, isn't it? Right, I can put that one in there and I can put the brake disc on. Um, let me put the brakes on as well. I want brake pads and I also want the brake caliper. I can do that one with there and there. Yes. Do you up as well. Right, that's everything on there and most of the stuff on here. We've just got the, the bits over here. So let me put that one on. You brake pads, the brake caliper, and that one is in good enough condition. Do those up. Right. All I got is I got the front shock absorbers and then the tires, and that's most of that stuff done. I do have the ABS stuff and you know, the brake servo and stuff like that. So let me just go to the repair bench and see if we can do anything on here. Ooh. Right, the brake servo, we do actually have a chance of being able to repair chance 75%. You failed to repair it. That's it. It's done. Um, right, so this one here, $112. I want to increase my chance of being able to repair stuff. You failed to repair it. The parts condition decreased. This one is at 70 Repair chance, 79%. Oh, no, it's at 57%. I need to repair it. You managed to repair the part. It's now 100%. And then all of these, these are above the required threshold. So we got one that we failed on. So really, the absolute... Oh, hang on. It's level 15 before we unlock that. Yeah, that's a shame. That one right there. Odds to successfully repair increased to 85. But we've got to get to level 15 before we get that. That's, um... That's going to take a little while. Okay, we won't worry about that too much. So we've got the repair bench there. Um, I'm going to just strip apart. It's the tire cha uh, yeah, tire changer. That's the one that we want to do. We want to go separate parts. Now, I got four of these that I want. And then... Which, which ones are they? Are they all the same? 205, 45R16. Yes. They're all the same. So I actually want to sell four of them. Uh, two of them, I think. Because we had two of them left on. Yes, I want to separate. Let me go here a second. While that one's spinning, I've got one, and then I've got four over here. Let me say, I'm going to sell that one. Yes, for $47. And I'm going to sell the poorest condition one over there. Sell that one. Because those are ones that we ended up having too much of. So we've got... Uh, Front axle drive seat. Oh, yeah, we, that's got to go on after, hasn't it? So we've still got some bits that we need to put on. Um, yeah, there we go. Take those bits, and then we go back to tire change it, separate parts, do the next one. Yes. While that one's just doing there, let me run over to the repair bench and see... Oh, we can't do the wheels. We don't have the option to replace wheels. That's a bit of a shame. It's not. I know the actual tire itself we wouldn't be able to do, but I was hoping that maybe we could take the um, repair the actual um, the rim uh, rather than the tire. Bit of a shame that we can't do that. That's okay. We'll live with it. So we go onto the spring puller and separate parts. I've got two springs here that I need to separate. Yes. Um. Oh yeah, that one comes up and it grabs it. Is it finished separating it, or is it still doing it? Not sure. Let me go over and grab this one. Take that one off. Get you. Separate parts. And yes. And then I'll come over to this one over here. Spring puller. Take the parts. And then take you. Separate. I want to separate you. Yes. 
And then I can go back and grab that one. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm getting really efficient. This is how you run a workshop efficiently, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you run a workshop efficiently, you think. Uh, right, I can't actually repair any of the bits that I've taken off. So I'm going to need to replace all of those bits that I just took off with new. So we go to tablet and I've got four tires that I need to get and then I've got uh, four rims that I need to get. We got the body, we got the tuning uh, DLC. I'm not going to look at that right now. Um, well, what is this? I think it's just like uh, it's stuff that you can upgrade with so you can get it's like um better than it was uh release yeah power boosts and stuff like that so i'm not too worried about that at the moment um she wanted to go back we need to go back with that one there and at the moment i want uh rims shop i want this one no i don't nope nope i want tires so uh tire shop this would be the one um i don't want tires eat well yeah i do want tires don't i i'm not even sure what they are off-road tire slick that's all Standard. Standard tyre B. You know, I don't actually know what I've got. Let's take let's take a look and see what I got that first. That, that would be a good idea. So we can scroll down through. I think it's in alphabetical order. Yeah, there we go. Right. Uh, that one is standard tyre. And then you pick the size. So I need four standard tyre. And then Rim Classic 16, 16, ETO. Right. I don't know what that means exactly, but... Um, Standard tyre first, so we want a uh, standard tyre, and then it was size, I can't remember. I've already forgotten what we've got, it's because I confused myself by looking at something else. I looked, I tried to do two things at once, right, 205, 45R16, 205, 45R16, I can remember this, right, we get that, and um, 16, and then it's 205, 45 and then the r i think is just radius or I, I don't really know but r doesn't come into it on here does it no so 45 205 45 r 16 that's what we want we want four of these there we go 540 dollars worth of tires ideal right next up i want inventory and i want right rim classic 16 16 and then eto so we go Rim Classic if I go into here and then I come out and I go to Rim's Shop and I go Rim Classic. So it's modern. Um, just Rim Classic 16 is what I wanted there. Rim Classic 16 is that one. And ETO size 16. Yeah, Rim Classic 16, size 16, ETO. Right, and I want four of those. Not five, four. There we go. Six hundred dollars for that as well, and then I've got to do the springs bit. Right. Well, that should be easy enough. So I want two front springs, and I want two front shock absorber A. That's easy. So I go out of here, and I go into the main shop, and front shock absorber. So if I just go front shock like that, and I go front shock absorber A, I want two. Yep. And then I want front spring as well. Oops. That's not how you spell. Sproing. Front sproing. I want two front sproings. Uh, two of those. There. And there was one more bit. Wasn't there for the spring? Oops. I pressed the wrong button. I want to go like that. And then there. Um, nope. Go like that. And go to inventory. So you got the spring. And then what else do you have? You got the... the sh oh, no. Not the rear shock absorber. You got the, the spring. And the front shock absorber. Front spring, shock absorber cap. Was there any other bits? I'm not actually sure what goes with it. So I think it's just the front shock absorber cap is the other bit that I need. So let me grab that bit a second. And front, uh, my spelling is atrocious today. I've forgotten how to type. Nope, not front squawk. Uh, front shock. There we go. Right, front shock absorber cap. I want two of those. And take that one. Right. And if I go back onto the spring puller, it'll tell me what I need to do. So join parts. I want a front shock absorber there. And a 
Yeah, so I just need, it's the three that I need, like that. And it'll put those back on. And then I, while that's doing, I can go to the tire changer and I can go to install. I want one of those and I want one of those. Yes. Right, and then I can come back over to here and go onto the spring puller. I can take the parts and then I can join more parts and go yes, yes, and yes. Yes, right, join those together and then I will take this one. Take. And I'll go over to you, the wheel balancer. I will balance the wheel. That one, right. So the red mark means that it's not balanced. Yes, I want to balance that one. And then while it's balancing, I can go onto here and install again. I can put some new ones together like that so that they can start going together. And I can run over here. I can grab the bits off of there. So I've got my two springs and I've got my two wheels working as well. So let me grab that one. Take and uh, install number three. Yes. And then I can take this one. Take the wheel, balance another wheel, which is that one there. Yes. It's a lot quicker to put them together than it is to balance them. I remember this from actually taking my car into the garage to have it done. So, um, yes, that would be about right. So we can put that one on there. And then we've got this one just to finish. He's almost done. Oh, no, he's not. It does take its time. And then you've got these little bits here that they stick to the inside of the rim to make it balance properly. So we can have that from there. And we've got another wheel that I can put on here already. There we go. Yes. And I can whip that one off of there. So while we're waiting for that wheel to balance, if I run back over here, we can put the shock absorber back on. Uh, I want to go to this one and go all the way back up there. I can put that one on. Brand spanking new. There we go. Put that in there like that. Excellent. And then I want to go over to the other side. I've still got to get the ABS stuff, haven't I? Grab that one, put that in there, and then, right, well, the ABS stuff I've got to do on the top, so actually I want to put this sway bar in. Sway bar front end link. Mustn't forget to put that one in, that's very important. It's very, very important to have the sway bar front end link. Um, I don't actually know what it's for. I'm guessing it helps to stop it from swaying around. Is that what it does? I'm not actually sure. Uh, sway bar front end. Oh, no, the sway bar is that one. That's... um. Something to do with how it steers and improve the steering, or... I, I don't know. It's, it's a bit on the car, and it's important because it's there. That's, that's, that's my reasoning. It's important because it's there, and therefore it must stay there still. Uh, we've got one more wheel to balance, so I can put that one going. And... I think we're done. I think we have done everything on the car from the underside that needs to be done. It's all new, it's all shiny, so I can lower that one back down again. And... Just have a look round. I've got the ABS stuff to do back there. I've got a brake pump, and then I've got the ABS module, and an ABS something else. So let me just quickly look. I think it's in alphabetical order, isn't it? Uh, sort by arrival. Um, sort by name. Right. ABS module, and well, the ABS module is new because we managed. Oh, we managed to fit that one. Uh, fix it, didn't we? So we've got the ABS pump there. And we've got the brake servo. So I just need a standard ABS pump and a standard brake servo. Um, so if I right click, actually, I just you can just press T for the tablet. Um, I want ABS there, and I want the pump, because the module is the bit that we got. So we want the pump, 950 crumbs. Um, it's a shame that, well, actually, we repaired that one, and that one's $700. So I think we did pretty all right out of it. Um, and then we want the servo as well, which is that one right there for $270. So I can put that one back on. If I go to the part mount mode, we can put this one on here. That's the one that we want on there. And then down here, I've got the ABS pump. Excellent. And then the module to go on the top of it. Even better. We can whiz that one on there. And I can also put the battery back in. We've got a new battery ready to go. That one in there. There we go. Brand new battery. No cables to join up to it. It does feel a bit wrong not having any cables. And then there's a fuel filter here. No items to work with. Oh, I don't... Uh, accessibility, it said. Why is the fuel filter up there all on its own? Right, let's come out of here. We go and grab that last wheel. I'm not going to put the wheel on until we finish. And we can start working on the engine. Grab that one. There we go. So we got the wheels. We've got four wheels. This is all looking good. So now we've just got the engine to do. This is it. Just one engine. So let's go on to here. And I need to do a full strip down. Um... I'm wondering 
before I start that, if I should sell a load of stuff. Um, cause, well, let's have a look in here. I'll tell you what. Let's go um, just look at the inventory a minute. I've got the wheels there. Um, ABS and air filters. I've got everything new that needs to be new. I could just replace. I could just sell all the junk. Let's sell junk first. Yes, because I've replaced everything I need to replace on this list. And then we can go through and we can see which bits that we want to replace and which bits we want to keep. So, um, like that one. I'm going to do this a minute. I'm going to go through and I'm going to sell every single thing that I need to, that I want to sell. Because I've replaced all of these bits now. Some of these bits here we're going to be using a little later. But most of these pieces now I can't do anything with. I can't repair them. can't do anything else with them. And the condition is too poor. So I've actually replaced all of the bits that need to be done. So then I can strip. I can do what I did last time. I can strip everything out of the engine, and all of these bits here that are not above seventy-five percent, I can then replace them. I might actually do. I know that for the game, it's actually quite profitable to accumulate a load of spare parts, but I still think it might be better if I can do it like this. Unless I what's groups? Oh, I see. Right. Um. Yeah. Let me finish just going through and doing this. And then we can start stripping apart the engine. It'll make it easy then for me to just go run through the list really quickly and replace all of the bits in the list that need to be replaced to be able to put the engine back together again. Found a quicker way to do it. All you got to do is click and then press enter and it will automatically just do the yes option. So this is a much, much faster way. You just got to be careful you don't accidentally sell the wrong item while you're doing it. But there we go. So I've, sold, I've gone through and sold everything. Everything else I've got here is stuff that's still to go back on the car that we don't, act, we're not ready to put back on it yet. So that's that bit done, which means if I come out of there now, now I can strip everything apart on this engine and then every part that is then in my inventory that is not one, uh, not 75%, I can then uh, remove it. So we can just start working on this. This is brilliant. I love the fact that we can even do this. This is just awesome. So we'll take off the engine head cover. I already removed all of the oil, so that's not going to be an issue. Don't have to worry about that. All we've got to do is just very quickly strip this engine down. And we do have to remember that this is actually the second time that we've done this. We did, we did do this once already, which a little bit of a shame that we um, have to do the whole engine strip out once more because it did get a little bit tedious, but I think overall it's not going to be too bad. It should be quicker on this than it was last time. So let me just take off these bits over here, and one more bit there. Right, that one's done. Uh, the camshaft can't come out because it's got to have this piece out on the end, so I want to run down here. I see. Right, we've got to start taking all of this bit off down here, and then that belt there, and then that one. Got another uh, pulley down here, and then we got alternators and pumps and stuff like that all on the sides. It does make it a lot easier when you've got it out on this engine stand. I can understand now why they would have an engine stand. This 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 is perfect. This this makes perfect sense. And we can remove that one from there like that. Take out this timing belt. Cam gear shaft, and then if we come up to the top, we can take out the cam shaft altogether. The fuel rail, manifold. Oh, there's a lot of bolts on this one. And I did say last week, I think I also said the week before, that um, about having like realistic uh, approach mm -hmm. to... Right, what have I got to remove from here? Oh, I see. A realistic approach to taking out the, um, the screws. So if you've got an old one with rust you'd actually have to deal with rusty um, bolt heads. So you'd have like a percentage chance of, say, a bolt head um, failing or something like that. And then you've got to screw it out using the special ki the special gear in order to be able to do it. You've got, um, oh, what is it? Tap and die set. You'd have to like get a tap and die and tap into the end of the bolt and then haul it out using that, which is quite a difficult way to do. That's why we couldn't replace the fuel filter because it's over here with this engine. Um, that would kind of make sense. Uh, right, what else have we got now? We kind of need to... I can take that one off down there. Um, oil pan. Am I going to get penalised for... Nope, I'm not going to get penalised for anything. Right, um, I think what you can do now is if I come out here, uh, examine, part mount, nope, I don't want to do that. Just click and then escape, and then I think you go like that, and settings, nope, I don't want to do that. 
you actually yeah, you go to the engine stand itself and then take engine off rotate left rotate right so if i rotate left and uh, rotate left again then i can just look down inside it so it's upside down which should make it easier to work with this is brilliant now why we didn't do this last time right take that one out there and that comes off and then do the same on there this is so much easier you just flip the engine upside down and away you go this is this is brilliant okay we're definitely doing this every time we need to do some work on an engine it's going to be it's just so much easier having to uh, being able to do it like this right we've got that one out there i want to take off this piece up here like this and then i want to do the same on that one there and there's one more that we need to take out so that we can then remove the crankshaft itself um I think you can... No, you've got to take... Before you can take the crankshaft out, you've got to take the pistons out. And because we've got this one off the stand, we don't need to change views or anything like that. We can just push them out from underneath, and it works just like that. So then we've got an engine block. And that's it. We've got everything in there. The whole lot done, which means now I can go into my inventory, and I can start looking down through, and I can see I need to replace everything. Um... Let me just go to... No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. So I want cam gear. Is The very first thing that I'm going to want is a cam gear. I'm going to need one of those. Uh, it's a plain cam gear. $110. And I think it was a cam shaft, an ordinary one, wasn't it? So let me grab that one as well and then find out that I've actually made a horrible, horrible mistake. No, it was... It was the wrong one. Okay. Um, sell. Yep. Uh... Right, so the and it was the wrong cam gear as well. That was a good start, wasn't it? That was that was just brilliant. Okay, um, cam gear I four S O H C. That's what we need, and that's the same with the camshaft as well. I four S O H C. Right, I'm. This is what I do behind the scenes for these episodes. Is I struggle through and I try to go back and forth through everything. It would be so much easier if you could just go not to the tablet, not like that. What I'd like is an option. You go inventory and then you can right click on it and buy this part. Or click on it and no, we don't want to sell. I want to be able to buy that part. That's what I'd like. Right, anyway, I'm going to go through the list and I'm going to start buying all of the bits that I need to get. So I've got to get a belt tensioner there. That's just an ordinary belt tensioner. But yeah, I, I'll get all of these bits and we can start putting this engine back together again. This is the very last two items that I need to get. I want the timing belt there, and I want the timing cover, that one right there. Okay, before I started, I completely forgot about going over to the repair table. So I got halfway through and then realized, oh, hang on, what about the repair table? And so I went through and repaired everything. So we've got like two engine head covers, uh, the engine head I managed to repair, um, the engine block did fail. Um, so I did spend a fortune on that one, but yes, yeah, some of these parts I actually bought when I didn't need to, but, um, further down, like the throttle thing, actually that one was already done, but, um, the water pump, I've, uh, I managed to repair that one, and there was a couple of other little bits I repaired, uh, power steering pump as well, that one was repaired, um, or was that one I already had, I can't remember now, uh, but anyway, yeah. A few bits were replaced, and a few bits were not. Um, one last little thing. I've got those. Where's the alternator? Oh, there's the alternator. I must have already done that. Yeah, I did that one previously, didn't I? Right, anyway, we need to go back onto here, and we go to part mount, and then we start off with our brand spanking new engine block. So let's look down in here first. I'm going to put this crankshaft in. See, I managed to repair the crankshaft. That was 94%, so I'm going to put the brand new one in anyway. Um, and then I'll, because in order to make it easier to do stuff, I did have to replace all of these. Um, in order to make it easier to do stuff, um, later on with doing the cars, it seems to be a very, very easy way to do it. Because you can't, like, click on a part and, um, say, buy now. Um, it just says you don't own this part, which, it's very inconvenient, but it also makes it quite difficult to, like, buy everything. So, unless I get enough money where I can literally go through and buy two or three of everything in the entire shop, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be sort of doing it like this for a little while. Um, and I'll sell everything. Even if we've got bits that we could use on jobs later on in order to save money, I'm still just going to sell everything in order to 
keep it really simple and it makes it really really easy then to go through and buy all of the bits when we're redoing a car so I can do that on there and that one as well and also when I come to do the next one if we got rid of everything beforehand we can then go through and we can strip the vehicle out go on to the um, repair table and put everything on the repair table and then do everything right up to 100%. Anything that doesn't make it to 100%, we know then we've got to put that one, um, we we've got to buy it. Anything that's not at 100%, we would then have to buy so that we get everything completely 100% all the way through. So let's put this alternator on here and I'm going to come out of this at a moment and I'm going to flip the engine back over. If I go on to engine stand, no, I, don't to, I wanted to turn left and turn left again so he's the right way up. Come out of there. And it's really, really easy to put the engine back together like this. It really is. I'm so pleased that we've got this thing. It does, it does, it just makes life so much easier, doesn't it? I can well understand why anybody would want to use one of these in real life. This makes absolute sense to me. So we'll stick the engine block back on there. And yeah, the engine block head, uh, the block head was something that I did end up getting a couple of times over. That's okay, we'll have to live with that now. Um, same with that one. Put the fuel filter back on. Um, intake manifold over here. No, no, hang on. I don't want to do that one yet, do I? Where's the spark? Oh, the spark plugs are out this side. So we can do the intake manifold over there. Go for that one there. And do all of these bolts back up. And we should... Actually, I'm thinking that we will get this one back into our car today. All done. And um, ready to go. And then we can sell it. And you don't actually need to go anywhere else to sell it. You literally it just you sell it from within the shop. Because um, I thought that maybe you went to like the car auctions or something like that, but no, you don't do that. You don't use it at the car auctions, you just sell it straight from the shop. At least that's what I've been able to see. I haven't been able to see that you can go to the auction or you could do it anyway like that. You, literally, it's just right here within the shop. Um, and that's fine. That actually makes it really easy. We haven't got any complications. We literally just put the car together, click sell, job done, and we don't have to worry about it. So we just put that last one on there. And then I've got the cam gear over here. I can drop that one in. Engine head cover, that one can go on. Quite a few bolts all the way down through that one. That's all right. Do that up. There we go. And I think you put the oil in afterwards, don't you? Yeah, you definitely do. You don't put the oil in now. So we want to put the timing belt on there. Brand new one. And then we've got the belt tensioner. That one can go in. And I can put the water pump on the side in there i've got the belt cover that one can go on and then we're starting to put all of these little bits on the outside over here as well and as soon as oh we've got the spark plugs at the top we mustn't forget those um i think that i've got sort of everything covered pretty much and then i've got that belt out on there right that's everything down there isn't it yep that's definitely everything out down there um i got the spark plugs in here mustn't forget those and you yep a couple more over here get that one there and that one right and then we've got the the bits that go onto the spark plugs which is oh no we've got the ignition coil first that one goes in and then out of the ignition coil we've got the other bits and then we've got the um there like that that bit goes on there and then we've got the flywheel down here. Now, do we put the flywheel on while it's out here, or do we put that while it's in the engine? I think that all goes on while it's in the engine. I don't think you can put it on out here. Oh, I didn't think you could. Apparently you can. Um, oh, because it doesn't actually fasten on. I mean, I imagine that's quite difficult to get to. Um, you haven't really got an easy way to get to it there, have you? So, um, I think in, in, order, in sort of... Keeping with trying to keep it reasonably realistic, we won't put that on just yet. So let's just come out of this mode. I think we've put everything back on there. Have we? I think we have. And because the intake manifold over there, that goes on afterwards. And you can't put the gearbox on at the moment. So we want to take this one and uh, take engine, take off engine from crate. That's what we want to do. And then I want to come over here and I want to get the engine thingy. What's it? This one, the engine crane. And I want to put this one move to uh, car lift the B so then we come over to this one and we go engine crane we go install engine move equipment pull engine uh, install unmount front exhaust section from car ah I see problem right I actually need to lift the car up 
So we shouldn't have put that front exhaust. I did wonder about that front exhaust section. I thought that maybe, just maybe, that was a bit too much. Uh, so we want to take that piece off. There. And uh, now we come out. I don't think there's going to be any other bits, so we can lower it back down again. And as soon as it's back down, um, we want to put the engine on the crane, don't we? So we've got install engine. And there's the engine. I've got the block uh, oil dipstick. And oil drain plug. Everything else is ready to go. But it's all back in there now. That's that's all in here. So now I can go back to the part mount mode. Now the oil dipstick is now there. And I'm guessing the oil drain plug would be underneath. So we've got that one piece there that's got to be done from underneath the car. But I can start putting some of these other bits back in around the vehicle. And the air filter. We've got that one. We've got a nice shiny new one. The cover. And we mustn't forget these clips. You've got four little clips here. These are the ones that are difficult to get. Um, these are the ones that we forget about, or we did forget about previously, and then one over there, and the last one on there. We're going to actually do this. I think we're actually going to get a car completely put back together today, and this is just amazing for me. I really do. I'm, I'm quite impressed with myself, I must admit. Um, even, you know, I'd, I'm not like wanting to like blow my own trumpet or anything, but I really do. I am really pleased with myself today. I'm amazed that I've been able to do this. I'm amazed I've been able to get this far. I really, really am. So let's come back in underneath here and I mean, let, let's not count our chickens just yet because I could very well have made a serious mistake yet. Um, look at the oil pan. Oh no, that one, the, the plug's still in there. That's okay, so we don't need to worry about that. So we've got this from underneath the vehicle and then I want to come back up here to the flywheel and we want to put the clutch plate in, and we want to put the new um, new bit here. Oh, there we go, pressure plate. And then we got the, once I've done those up, we've got the bearing in here as well. And then we got the manifold and manifold cover up the top. Not the pressure plate, that one, release bearing, there we go. And then the actual gearbox itself to go on, and then there'll be the drive shafts to come out of the gearbox. Those have got to be put on. Is that all of it? Yep, that's all of those. So I can come out this way and then I can go front drive shaft. So we've got that one there and then I've got those two. I've got the drive axles on each end and those two two up there. Um, actually, I'm going to put the wheel on while it's here. We can put that one back on. All of those back on. This is brilliant. I've actually got the wheels going back on the car. I'm so pleased. I really am. I did not think that I would be able to do this. I really did think that I was taking on far too much to be able to do this properly. I really did. I genuinely thought that I would struggle to get this finished. Um, and yes, we did have a minor hiccup where the car magically put itself back together. Um, although that may have just been us on a night out um, got so sloshed that we didn't actually realize what we we're doing. Uh, there is always that possibility. Not that I would recommend that to any of my younger viewers. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend doing something like that. It's, uh, it's a bit, getting that drunk is just a little bit too much. Um, you, you don't need to do that to yourself. Um, right, let's put that one back onto there. Right, so that's all four wheels, and we've put the steering racks and all of that sort of stuff back in. All of that gubbins is back in underneath. Let me just put this crane back where it belongs. Move, uh, place equipment back. Right, so that one's out of the way, and then we jump back in here. Right, we've got the... Not the front exhaust. Oh, actually, I need to go to the part mount mode, don't I? So I've got that one to go back on. And then I've also got the um, starter motor down there to go back on. And then we will look through the list and make sure that we have got everything. There is one. There is a cover down there. I want to put that starter on there. Put you on. And I'm going to go for that exhaust manifold cover. Excellent. Put you on. And is there anything else? I think we've done it. I think we have actually successfully put this vehicle back together. Let me just look at car status. Rubber but No. Front license. Well, we got, we got to do license plates, but we got a rubber bushing somewhere. There is a rubber bushing somewhere on this vehicle that is missing. Um, let's take a look at the front suspension. We've got four rubber bushings there. If I mount over that, yep, yeah, that's there's nothing in those. Um, where is this rubber bushing likely to be? It's probably on the back somewhere, actually. Uh, hmm. I'm going to put the oil in. So what we're going to do first, we're going to go onto the engine, and we're going to go oil fill plug. 
And we're going to do that. I'm going to give a generous amount of oil into this one. We have completely stripped it out, so we, we can afford to uh, put a reasonably generous amount in there. There we go. That's full. That's completely full, so we can come out of that mode. So that is now full there. We've got a rubber bushing somewhere, and we've got to do license plates as well. We can't paint this. We can't do that until we get um, as a, a, th a bonus thing that we get later. Um... What rubber bushing have we got to do? Is it on this one? I've got four there. There's four in that one. Those are all in. Um, rear suspension. Uh, well, what on earth would that rubber bushing be from? It says that it's missing. Missing completely. Um... Let's lower you down. I, we do need to do the we do need to do the license plates, don't we? So we want to go onto here, and I want to go uh, assemble mode there. Rear light, no items to work with. Right. So we want to go press T and go into here. We want to come back out of there, and then I want to go into a license plate shop. Okay. Uh, Armenia, California. I don't know what country. When we can go for Ireland. Um, well, I'm from the UK, so I'm going to go for UK. Um, where are we? Where's is Washington, Ukraine, Turkey? Or maybe it's under England. It could be England, it could be Britain. It's a problem. we got United Kingdom, Britain, England. We've got so many names for this place that it's difficult to keep up sometimes. Uh, Germany. Hang on, I've gone too far. Um, it's England. We've got Estonia, Finland, British. Well, what about a British one? Belgium, Belarus. Well, where's the, where, where's the British one? Have we not got an English license plate? There's nothing there. Um, let's just try Brit uh, Great Britain. Oh, Great Britain, of course. Great Britain, United Kingdom, Britain, England. We've got so many names for the same country. It is just redonkulous. Um, I want... Two of those. And uh, custom. 2,000 for custom. 200 for... Okay, let's just leave it at just normal, shall we? We go for that. Um, right, so we take that one out. And then rear license plate. We want to go um, normal mode. Put you on. There we go. Great Britain. So we've got a, we've got a Great Britain car right here. And we want to put one on the front. I need to go to assemble and put the license plate on the front. There we go. Right, now, let me close you down. Click to use. I'm clicking to use. There we go. Right, that's closed down. Now, let me go to car status. Everything's looking pretty good. We've got interior condition 73%, but we kind of knew about that. Um, everything so far is looking good. Restoration bonus. We do get a 1,805 bonus. Car value is uh, 25,000. Um, rubber bushing right there. I don't know what that rubber bushing is from. But we can sell the car as it is. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I, I think that's pretty good. I think we can go with that. So we get twenty, almost $26,000 from this. Are you sure you want to sell the category Katsumoto for $25,876? No, I'm, I'm actually not sure at the moment because I'm just kind of wondering, can we go to like an auction or something with the car? Um, so I'm just going to go on here. We go parking, your garage, the abandoned airport, junkyard, off-road track, which we've already tried. Car auctions are not open. Racetrack and barn. Okay, nope. We're definitely going to do it. We're going to sell it. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take it down off the stand. I don't think that, that rubber bushing, I think that's... No, wrong way. <laughs> Let's bring this down. Bring that one down. And... We are ready to actually sell our car. Let's lower it down. I just want to get a good look at this because, you know, we've put a lot of work into this car. This baby is ready to sell. There it is. There's a lot of work gone into that. I think we should be proud of ourselves. We, we, we've done a lot with this. Right, let's do it. Let's do it. Sell car. Yes. Achievement unlocked for sale. $25,000 for 
We now have $67,000. We've got a new vehicle here that we can get started on. However, we're not going to have time for doing that today. So I am going to, well, what we're going to do is going to move this one over. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and get give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. In our next episode, we're going to strip this one right down. And we are going to go this time for 100%. We've got every, we, nothing is 100% at the moment, but we're going to aim for 100% to get the full restoration bonus. That is the plan. That's what we're going to try to do. Whether it's going to work or not, I don't know. But that is our plan. And everything is just question marks at the moment. Yep. This could be interesting. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.